What the? That's not supposed to happen. Well then, genius. What is supposed to happen? It's gotta be something wrong. Who the hell buys magazines anymore? Why don't they just buy them on their electronic things? I mean, who wants to buy a Playboy in public anymore? Uh, shut up. Maybe through here? What the, What was that? I don't... Let's try another door. Oh, the big monkey. Whoa! Almost got shot there. Jesus Christ. Um, all right, this is getting a bit scary. Let me try this one last door. Oh, I see it. This isn't so bad. Oh, oh God. Geez. If you insert two quarters, you insert two quarters into a Galaga machine at the same time. Boom! Infinite lives. Seriously, my fourth cousin on my mom's uncle in law side of the family did it and beat the damn game. And only quarters. Totally! No tokens, or else the machine explodes, or nuclear holocaust. Not quite sure, but it cannot be good! Right. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome to Retro Fun Time. I'm your host, Roberto Vegas, and I'm still here in the pixel world and still with Null here. Hello there, party people. And somehow, we've ended up in... The future. Though I figured it'd be a bit more shiny. A lot less purple. And less blocky. Isn't it the future supposed to be all white and rounded and cars are supposed to be flying around? W whatever. Let's just make the best of a strange situation and find some place to eat or at least sit down. While we do that, why don't you guys check out the next segment here for Earthbound? We've got plenty to show off for the game, and we only scratched the surface with that last video. So go watch this while I see if there's a Denny's or McDonald's or something. Hell, an Arby's would be fine. Maybe in a KFC. I don't know. What do you want, Noel? Pizza! At a place where a certain rat works. Gotta have words with him about breaking up the hardest working band in the pizza business. I think I have to wait there, Ahab. I had pizza last- Oh, badass! Sushi! Okay, we are back here with Earthbound again. Now, as you can see, we've definitely changed locales. We've definitely gained a person. I kind of uh, pre-gamed it a bit. All right, maybe I pre-gamed it a little too much. But the idea being, this is not necessarily a how Robert plays Earthbound per se, but more of a how to look at the game and give that kind of feel. Uh, we actually are here done with Tucson. We just rescued Paula and got our second Your Sanctuary location. We're about to head to one of my favorite parts of the game. That being three, where I know taking the bus with the Runaway Five, who can go through the cool towers, the cool, the caves, because ghosts don't scare the heck out of these guys. We're gonna have some fun really quick with this one. Um, we're gonna actually do a little bit of three fun. Uh, now three, as you'll learn, is the third town. Uh, like I said for uh, at the very beginning of this whole thing, we have four major towns in the game in Eagle Land. Uh, Onet, Tucson, Threed, and Foresight. Uh, I, always love, I always love that this, this is like the freaking, like, we're, we're, we're like at the party bus. Oh man, I, I always miss that there's a oh, freaking, um, there's a guy there. Like there's certain things I always forget about in Earthbound because it's like I've played some every time. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, a, uh, gift box over there and the dude you can talk to and sign you can read and stuff like that. A lot of those interesting kind of hidden things in this game that I forget about a lot of times. Here we are. Oh man. Here we are. Welcome to Threed. Uh, three is zombie infested as all hell, uh, and things are evil here. So let's go over some interesting basics about some combat stuff that we, we've never touched on. Um, there's a lot of fun, cool things in three, um, that we'll kind of, we'll figure out. Let's talk to some folk people here. 
Uh, I think there's a, a, a person that says, uh, I think it might be at a sign someplace. Look at this kid. I can't remember. One of the, one of the characters says, like, uh, like zombies or something like that. Welcome to three or some, some, some weird line. Now, where is it? I might have to find this kid. Because he, he gives a really cool line. Uh, what sucks about right now is that we can't leave this area. We have to actually deal with a whole bunch of stuff before we get to it. Um, I'm not sure if we'll have enough time to actually um, introduce Jeff quite yet. But don't worry, we'll get to Jeff in our next part. Uh, maybe it's here, this is the kid. Zombies and ghosts are loose here. That's what it is. <laughs> Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to Threed. I always loved Threed. I always thought this was like the coolest thing because... Uh, you know, you you get hidden gems like this. Want to, you know? Uh, hey, Summers. Uh, you get some hidden gems here. Let's see if we can find some some of the doors. Uh, there's a door here. <laughs> oh, Gygus. Uh, Gygus is, uh, for those who've never played Earthbound, Gygus is the main villain, uh, which we'll probably not have time to look at. Uh, but anyways, back to kind of some things with Earthbound, some interesting kind of concepts. Uh, one of them being the pizza joint, the pizza uh, company, Mock Pizza. Uh, the fact of the matter that you actually talk to this person, normally you could buy, you'd buy items here and talk to a person who's registered, but this is always different. They actually, you actually have to order uh, the, pizza, the pizza through the phone. Uh, so you actually have to order. So say for example, let's say I want to actually get some some pizza right now. I have to go to payphone here. Call mock pizza. Oh, let's get a large pizza. He had eight minutes to deliver it. I mean, they'll actually come by, but there's other kind of interesting, kind of fun stuff here in three. Let's, uh, for example, I can't remember what door it is, but it's one of the, one of the doors. The actual like, like it's a funny kind of thing. Uh, let me try to find it. It's it's it. The hard part is remember where all the stuff is in this game, because half half of it's like hidden. <laughs> Other parts are just like like there's so Earthbound has like is that kind of game that has so many kind of hidden little things in it that uh, it's hard to remember where everything is. Maybe it's over here. No, because it's a door. What's this girl say? <laughs> All right, it's this door. One of them was like. <laughs> one of them was like I like 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 I think maybe it's here it is. Uh, no, maybe it's not. Where is it? One of them was like they they scream and they're like watching a zombie movie, um, which I just find the idea of. <laughs> I, I just find the idea of of people watching a zombie movie during the apocalypse. Here it is. <laughs> like, like that there's zombies in there. <laughs> Again, just weird kind of touches. Um, um, I love the idea of like there being a zombie movie there. So let's go with some combat and show kind of what Paula does. Now, Ness and Paula, as kind of explained earlier, are, are psychic users. Uh, so they, they use kind of psychic abilities as their sort of magic. So let's see what Paula can do. Let's get into some mix with some zombies here. Let's see if I can get enough to... Damn it. Now this is something I wanted to show you guys. Um, I wanted to show you guys last time, but I couldn't quite because we didn't have the levels for it. Uh, but if you notice, you saw that little green swirl over my um, kind of world view. Uh, essentially... The idea being that if you're way too powerful, that it, it, you get a lot of cool HUDs. Like let's say, let's try to get, for example, caught uh, back. Come on, hit. Let's just let's see if I can get the kite, can kite these guys to. See, the problem is I have to actually like. I have to actually do so. See, the problem is I have to. 
have them catch me off guard almost. I sort of sweep them in here because like one of them I'll take care of. I have to kind of wait till a cohort comes or some weird thing like that. All right, I think it should be enough to, there you go. All right, so here's some combat. So let's uh, show some interesting things. I'm gonna defend here right now, but Paula, uh, whereas Ness can do a lot of recovery uh, spells, Paula can do a lot of assists and a whole bunch of offense. In fact, sh in fact, between her and I think Pooh, those are the only ones I think can can do PSI freeze and I think PSI fire and thunder. Uh, but she's got some very powerful ones. For example, PS, uh, as you note, as you can note here, uh, the spell levels go up alpha, beta. I think that's gamma and omega, or is that theta? I think that's theta, actually. I'm terrible with my Greek, on my, on my uh, Greek um, letters, to be honest, except for alpha, beta, omega. I think that's theta, I'd like to say. I could be wrong, though. But anyways, if you see, it progresses up higher, higher, and we sort of have, you know, whereas our basic kind of free spell does this. You know, it does only 16 damage. Um, our omega, looks a lot cooler and does a heck of a whole lot more damage. So it definitely adds a kind of cool stuff like that. Uh, and there's some other kind of things you can do. Uh, and of course we have the popular PSI rockin'. Um, here we go. So let's kind of get this a little bit ahead so we can kind of show a little bit more because we're almost out of time for this segment. Uh, it took like hours to find that freaking thing. If I kind of go back here, kind of... Um, introduce you to the zombies. Stare into my soul. And he looks me over. Now, let's go and find the, the last guy really quick. Uh, so I can kind of show you, because what's cool about this game is a lot of is how they introduce the secondary characters. Because you start off with Ness and you rescue Paula, but then this sort of moment happens where, and this always freaked me, this always creeped me out in, in, in hindsight, the idea that, like look, here this guy says. Like, he's like, I want to do her. And this is what's creepy. What's creepy is Ness is like a little kid. He's like, why am, Why would the little kid follow the... Like, do you do you understand this? Like, I've never quite understood that. I never quite got that in, in, in older years. The idea of, like, me... Me hooking up, like me doing anything. And you go in there, and it's a trap. But it does give an exam a, 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 a interesting way of showing how they introduced some of the secondary characters. <laughs> I love that that break well, that little fourth wall breakage. And so you wake up, I know. It's always so weird to me out like why they have all their stuff still, you know. But anyway, so we go here. The door is locked, and then Paula shows her secondary power. Um, Paula is a very stronger psychic user than Ness. Uh, and so she can call out to a lot of people and she ends up uh, helping you gain the rest of you, your other cohorts. Uh, and two, what this also shows is a lot of, that there, you know, it really shuts the world because there's so much like weird kind of cool things like winters, summers, uh, Skara, and, and they're just kind of this really cool sort of world aspect. I always loved the way they did the art software for Earthbound. Uh, it's really cool, I think, still. It's like I said, it's one of my favorite games. It still is. I still enjoy this game so much. So we're going to show a little bit of, of, of Jeff's adventure. We'll see Jeff more in our last part. Um, but not so much now. Because <laughs> my last part is going to be um, my ultimate favorite one. And, you'll, and it's also kind of eerie timed because it sort of shows some stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is Jeff. Jeff, uh, as a quick thing, um, you know, is, is a nerd. He's kind of a geeky character, um, which is kind of maybe why a lot of people will connect with him because he's he tinkers, he can build things. He's kind of quiet, very timid kid. Um, but he is cool because, hey, he uses kind of uh, air rockets, stuff like that, too. He's the only one that can use bottle rockets uh, and fire off, and he, and he becomes very useful with some of uh, the quad bottle rockets when fighting um, some of the later enemies and bosses. Uh, anyways, that's all we have time for right now in this section. Uh, of course, we still got one more part of Earthbound to go. 
So don't worry, we still got some more Earthbound action. So without further ado, take it away, future me. All right, run this by me one more time. I'm telling you, Mario and the gang are a bunch of actors. All right, let's let's assume you're right. Just for, just for the sake of this whole thing. And I am. Give me some examples. All right, Mario Two, huge dream sequence. Okay. Doesn't does it have anything to do with do with the story? Nope. It, of Mario. You know who? What, what else does that? Hmm. Television. When things go away and people don't like it and all that, and you know what they do? Eh, dream sequence. We'll erase it all. Dallas, huge proponent of that. I mean, the the dad from Step by Step, you know, dead. Dead for a season. And people were like, oh, you know, I liked him. And, blah, blah, blah. and you know, the show started to suck. And you know what they did? They brought him back. How? One girl was just sleeping and then woke up. And then it's like, Bobby, you're back. And he's like, I never left. And it's like, what do you mean you never left? And he's like, baby, I just, you know, I've been here the entire time. Why weren't you shot? Nope. I've uh, been working. Huh. Well, I mean, with Mario 2, that was originally Doki Doki Panic. Like, it was a uh, family... Doki 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 Hokey Pokey. I don't uh, care. I mean, it was it was a Famicom Disk System game. It wasn't, like, originally a Mario game. And they kind of had to squish Mario in there and make a game out of it through the U.S. audience. I mean, give me something better than that. All right. All these games are just episodes, and they're little, they're little adventures. I mean, you take... Mario 1 is just a huge, you know, oh, I'm a plumber, got to save my girlfriend. And then, right. you know, you go to another Mario and he's taking a vacation and, you know, spraying water. You know, you know who did that? Ross and Rachel from Friends. And you know what they did later? They went to Barbados for no apparent reason. I think I remember that episode. Yeah, the episodes, uh, guy, you know, so. They, uh, okay, well, then how do you explain Mario a, Party? Mario Party? Oh, just a reality show. You think Mario can afford to throw eight parties? Especially on a plumber's salary? No. That's a good point. Not at all. I mean, it's just a reality show. I mean, just like Big Brother and how they keep them all in, a, in an enclosed space and they do all these challenges and they can, instead of voting people out and... Like in Big Brother, they send people back 10 spaces in Mario Party. Well, that does explain the whole concept of you never know who the winner is, especially at the end when they start adding all those BS points and things like that. Yeah, po I mean, points, uh, di dice, and yeah, I, it's the equivalent of, you know, Big Brother. All right, well, then explain to me Mario Paint. I mean, you Mar can't ever tell me for that. Mario Paint is just like this old house. All right, now you're stretching. Oh, sorry, didn't see you guys there. We're not done with Earthbound quite yet. We still got one more part to go, so no final summation this week quite yet. Uh, of course, if you want to join in the discussion and maybe check out previous episodes, you can go check them out at our website, cosmogradio.tv slash retrofuntime. You can also check out other shows on the network, of course, that being my little podcast on there, my so-called 8-Bit Life. You want to get a hold of us, though, and kind of talk to me personally, even though I'm still stuck here in the pixel world, it seems like I can still receive Twitter posts, uh, hit us up on our Twitter account, at RetroFunTime. It's a good way to get a hold of us and a good way to talk to us and let us know what you're thinking of the show. We do watch every bit of comment on everything. And if you happen to be grabbing the show on iTunes... Give it a five-star rate if you like it. We really do look at every bit of comments that go on, so trust me. Wherever you post it for us, we'll see it. Aren't you going to finish your coffee? Uh, yeah. Let me just take a... Uh...